So now in this video, we have a uh, demonstration circuit that I have here that uh, simulates the output of an integrated circuit or something. So it's not the exact same, but it should help illustrate what is going on. So I have the uh, power supply set to 5 volts right there in case I uh, miswire something. Um, I'm less likely to blow a LED because uh, current's limited 21 milliamps of current. They have a maximum current of uh, 20 milliamps. Um, so, in any case, we have uh, two LEDs. They're both on, but there you can see they have the same amount of current going through them. It's a 1,220 ohms of resistance is limiting the current, but they're also dropping about 5 volts right now. That's because this uh, jumper there is not connected to anything. So this is all we got there. It's two LEDs in series. Um, so they're dropping almost like uh, uh, 5 volts, basically. A um, little bit's trickling through. Um, so that's why there's no current flowing no LED is flowing so now what we're gonna do uh, first let's go with uh, this one right here so we're going to sync current with this uh, jumper you can see at this point there we're going to ground current is considered as positive going to negative it's just the way that um, they knew there was a flow um, of electricity but they didn't know what it was a long time ago they didn't know about electrons so they just kind of assumed there was a positive to negative flow. And um, so right now we're doing what's called sinking current to ground. And uh, there you can see the blue LED is lit up because we have that current path right there. Um, it's actually going to ground. Um, but uh, that's why the blue LED is lit up. It's lit up brighter because uh, we're ignoring the red LED right now. We're just going around it. Uh, so the LED is not dropping any voltage, the red one. And uh, the resistor is not limiting current, the one with the uh, red LED. So there you can see, uh, not much current's going because we have that higher value resistor, 1000 ohms. So I do this a lot with the 555 timers to show that the output is low. Basically, it's connected to ground. So there, it's easier to visualize here than with like the 555 timer or op amps or whatever else is uh, outputting. Now, again... We aren't connected to anything, so current's just flowing through there. We're going to go to the positive display. So yeah, usually I wire up the red LED, so anode up there, short lead cathode down there to the resistor, headed to ground. I usually uh, light up the red LED to light up when I'm given a high voltage, uh, 5 volts, or as good as the integrated circuit usually can provide. So usually there's some transistors, so you lose some voltage along the way. Um, but usually the red LED still lights up uh, pretty well. There you can see we have about 220 ohm resistor. It drops a little less voltage than the blue LED. And the lower resistor means we're going to get uh, more current. There you can see 12 milliamps of uh, current right there, approximately. This isn't as accurate as a multimeter. But it'll probably be within about 1, maybe 2 milliamps of what a multimeter is. So, in any case, uh, hopefully this uh, we consider this source... You consider the 5 volt uh, there, because we're using 5 volts, as the source of current. And uh, so now this uh, jumper is the source of current. Now the jumper is sinking current. Hopefully those terminologies make sense now. Again, there's actually electrons flowing in the opposite direction, but uh, we still use the terminology that they came up with originally. Uh, we work positive down to negative, so... You know, that, that's kind of how we follow, how things are flowing, even though technically in real life they're going in the opposite directions. Um, so, source current, red LED, there you can see that. And then uh, sinking current, blue LED, because that's how I wired it, right there. Um, red doesn't always mean that an output is being sourced, and blue doesn't always mean that uh, the output is sinking uh, current. That's just a color coding system I use so that you can visualize it with my uh, demonstration circuits. So, um, just want to point that out. Even though I often say the blue LED is lit because we're sinking current, and I often say the red LED is lit because I am sourcing current, that is because that's how I wired that particular circuit. That's not a uh, rule. So, in any case, uh, you know, I tried to explain anything I could think people might... Uh, come up with when I talk about this topic of syncing and sourcing current with the uh, different color LEDs. So hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.